Right, so some final thoughts on the little hollow um, HL13 sight from Optical Solutions. It's a little infrared and uh, this is a little thermal sight. I did a, a fuller review of this before <clears throat> and I've used it a couple of times now. Took it out at night, give it a couple of runs uh, and I've tried it on. Um, we had it on a friend of mine's little uh, moderated uh, 410 shotgun. Um, shooting rabbits at really close range. Unfortunately, I forgot to set my camera that night, which was a bit of a downer. So we tried it on that. Um, and he's got a Picatinny rail on top of that little uh, uh, little 410. Um, and we were shooting pretty close around the farm. So we were only shooting two-inch cartridges. So there was no recoil. And we probably didn't go further than, I'd say, 20 yards tops, absolute tops furthest. Probably 15 yards was the furthest rabbit that we shot, um, just around the barns. And then I put this on my rifle the other night. I had a little one on my air rifle and I had a little wand around my chute. Um, and I've got some little, uh, a little clip of what it's like on the rifle. Just filming out in the field and a couple of horses out grazing. Um, so I'm going to basically summarise what I think this is best suited for. If it's definitely not a long range um, thermal imaging site. I don't think it was ever intended to be that, to be honest with you. Um, what it is, it's a close range reflex type site. Um now, it, like I say, when it was on the little 410 shotgun, it was staggeringly good because you can shoot it with both eyes open as you would a normal shotgun. You've got the spread of the shotgun and the targeting, the, the crosshairs were ideal because you don't have to get such a precise aim point with a shotgun, obviously. So for that, brilliant. The other night with... It sat on top of the air rifle at ranges over sort of, I don't know, 15, 20 yards, maybe 20 yards. Anything over that, it's I found it quite difficult to um, get a precise aim point accurate enough to, to guarantee a headshot uh, on a rabbit. And let's be honest, you need a headshot to make that kill. And it, I found it quite difficult to get the uh, the rescue perfectly on, to get a good enough image, a clear enough image, to get the rescue bang on a rabbit's head at much over 20 yards. I think where this comes into its own, it's very mission specific, I suppose. If you've got it on a shotgun, it's an incredible bit of kit. It really is. It's properly geared up for a shotgun. At the sort of ranges that you're shooting at with a shotgun because you've got a bit of spread. So, you know, you're aiming at the animal, at, at a rabbit or at a rat or whatever. You're not aiming specifically at a certain point on a rat or a, a rabbit. Um, so on a, on a little shotgun or any sort of shotgun, it's brilliant. On an air rifle, if you're out ratting in a barn or shooting feral pigeons in barns, uh, and you're not pushing out the range, but you need a thermal to pick them up really quick. And you can shoot with both eyes open and it's dead intuitive to use because it is more like um, open sights, sort of reflex sight. This is staggeringly good for that sort of stuff. If you want to use it for shooting rabbits at night where you're taking... Um, you know, you're sort of stalking around and shooting at 30, 40 yards, then this is not really what you're after. It's not made for that sort of shooting. Um, it's more of a, a sort of shotgunny type one, or if you're shooting close in. If you're shooting close in, this is brilliant. It's much better than a night sight because you get, because you can use it both eyes open, even though it's dark, you feel like you get a much wider point of um, field of view with it. And it's really good for that, for that reason. Um, but you've got to be, but to get a precisely aimed um, shot, you've got to be pretty close. 
um, to get that precisely aimed shot with us. So if you're ratting in barns, if most of your sh um, night shooting comprises uh, rat shooting in a barn, uh, or you're shooting feral pigeons in barns all the time, or stable blocks or whatever, or you're shooting rats around stable blocks, or in barns or farmyards, this thing's a absolute stonking device. If, if like me, you're mainly a rabbit shooter, um, with an air rifle, then I've got to say, I don't think this is the bit of kit for you, really. Um, it does what it does extremely well, but it is a bit mission specific. Having said that, if I had a place that was full of rats, like some of the places that you see on the YouTube channels, where people are shooting dozens and dozens of rats in barns and farms and whatnot, one of these would definitely be on the shopping list because it's awesome for that sort of thing. But it's a bit of a it's a bit of a case of horses for courses. But I really like it. I mean, if you're shooting around barns and stuff like that, it's perfect because it's absolutely tiny. The image quality at close range is phenomenal. It's just really good for that sort of stuff. Um, or like I say, if you've got it on a shotgun and you just need to detect a rabbit out in the field at sort of 30, 40 yards, it does that easy enough. It's just getting them crosshairs on to take a headshot, which you need to do with an air gun that it struggles a bit with. But if you're on a shotgun, that's not important. You just need to get the crosshairs on the, on any part of the rabbit and the uh, the spread of the shot will, uh, will do the job for you. So it's a bit mission specific, but it's a lovely bit of kit. So there you go. The Hollow HL13 from Optical Solutions. And what a lovely bit of kit it is. But it is. It is mission specific. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.